my soul tribe how's everyone i want to do a quick pick a card i don't know how quick but usually if we're going to get carried away but uh, let's understand who is your next relationship where is your next relationship i cannot say uh, the geography but it's just when i say where like how's the energy okay where is your next relationship who is this person um is there a future for you to have your happily ever after or is there marriage uh, on your next relationship or what is happening okay what does the universe want you to know about this person who is going to come in your life and what are the underlying reasons why they're not in your life life yet or what is happening if let's say if you even if you already know this person what is happening like like reasons conditions like um the blocks let's understand pick your choices so tribe these are the choices that i want to um use today on our pick a card reading is the gemstones pile one radocrosite pile two amethyst pile three jasper pile four unikite calling on my spirit guides my guardian angel the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe as we're going to channel messages possible energies advice for whoever pick rhodochrosite amethyst jasper and unikite spirit guides who is coming in their life where is their next relationship if they're feeling stuck any messages that they need to know and please help us and please guide us especially please guide this next relationship if this is going to be our life partner please godspeed spirit guys please help us and ask the father up above to to help us with his divine hand and write our love story in the stars or yes god has to write our love story so it's going to happen let's go so tribe i was just resting and sorry my live yesterday <laughs> someone was saying he's too famous he doesn't want to be in my camera i wasn't filming him it was just you know you can see when i'm filming it's just all about me but you know so tribe <laughs> We don't want to be arguing. No one can argue with kitty cat. But sometimes if stuff like that, you don't want to be arguing either. You just have to run. That's how Spirit Guy is trying to say. Run, kitty cat. I was setting up my camera and then suddenly he wouldn't stand. And it doesn't happen too much like that. But I kind of knew something is up and then bam, Spirit Guy doesn't want me there. So we have a very wonderful and lovely spirit guides and guardian angels who are protecting us i mean for me anyway as your channeler let's go pile rhodochrosite who is your next relationship what is happening with your next relationship where are they where is this person spirit guides channel message please knight of cups this person feels the same way about you or this is a person who is going to come in your life and going to fall in love with you or someone someone is in love with you or spirit guide says you're going to fall in love with this person and they're going to reciprocate so the feeling is mutual this could also mean wedding this could also mean commitment so there could be a message that your next relationship could be the one your next relationship could offer you engagement proposal wedding commitment or marriage okay or this could be a new person who's still going to come in your life unexpectedly i am seeing someone with light hair fair-skinned person okay could be a fair-skinned man or a fair-skinned woman or this could also mean that someone with lighter hair maybe if it's a woman they dye their hair blonde okay but we're going to find out and i am seeing that they like they like pets that's how i understand right now but regardless unexpected meeting that's how i i can see maybe this person coming in your life could be a water sign Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a hero to come in your life. 
that means there is support there is help you're going to meet this person when you needed them the most so what is going on what is going on ace of pentacles they could be very very wealthy or spirit guy says the door is already opening okay where are you going to meet this person possibly you're going to meet this person through work or in a business setting because who is this person coming in your life could be an entrepreneur a business-minded person maybe they are ceo they have a lot of money and they are very understanding and generous and going to support you in your dreams okay and going to support you and and make you a better person make you grow not only financially but also um, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. So this person is very, very responsible and very supportive of you. And, and also a lot of money, okay? So anyway, they're going to support you in all ways. Eight of Cups. But Spirit Guide says there is a feminine. You have to embrace the path. In order for you to meet this person, you have to evolve. You have to be high vibrational and you cannot be wallowing on sickness and diseases in heartbreak, anger and pain and confusion. Spirit guide says you must trust your intuition. I am seeing that you have to open your third eye chakra. Okay, do not be so confused because I know that you might not understand but the universe is going to guide you. Glimmer of light, glimmer of hope one step at a time. You know, universe not going to give us like, like answers like right off the bat. You have to solve the puzzle. So Spirit Guide says you have to release what doesn't serve you anymore. Release the pain, release the ex, release the past, close the old chapter. Because if you, let, let's say, let's say Spirit Guide is truly trying to tell you, release the past because you're going to embark on the journey, pile one. To meet a wonderful person oh my gosh okay and to meet possibly the one who's going to be in your life so that's how i i, I can see right now maybe there's also um there's also um feminine here maybe she has money and career problem but you know what we're going to stick to the question who is coming in your life where is your next relationship they're going this this person your re next relationship is going to come in your life um anytime soon maybe you already know this person maybe you already eyeing this person from afar maybe you're already friends okay maybe you're already revolving on the same community or even let's say if you truly do not know and have a clue who this person is anytime soon, unexpectedly, okay? A fated meeting, sudden meeting, at the right place, at the right time, three of swords, okay? I tell you, Spirit Guides trying to tell you that really what I was already seeing on the Eight of Cups, there is a feminine energy or whoever picked pile one. You cannot be wallowing on pain and anger and heartbreak and heartache. You lost something. You went through so much struggles in your life. This could be someone has broken your heart. You are connected with a toxic connection, okay? Or maybe you are currently in separation if you are in a twin flame journey. Let's understand. But Spirit God says let go of the heartache and the heartbreak and the pain because you are trying to give yourself another chance to 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 love okay you're trying to manifest love in your life so anyway let's understand spirit guide says release the ex or release the pain if you are truly manifesting twin flame but if you are truly manifesting like um a next relationship let's understand but i i know that spirit guide says maybe it's time to manifest new love and release the past or if you are in a twin flame connection you have to release your anger so you can make way make way for this person to be supportive of you and high vibrational and and ground your connection so that's how i understand so i know pile one you could be in a twin flame connection in separation or you are in a twin flame connection and then you are uh manifesting your union and fated meeting okay to get to know each other queen of pentacles see are your wish and dreams going to come true? Is it possible? 
queen of pentacles is yes because this is the wealthiest woman okay she knows that her dreams and desires is going to manifest in her life because opportunity is going to open in her path it's almost like the empress energy but you're graceful and you're peaceful okay and and you're going to manifest your dreams and desires especially about love and your uh next relationship through um through grace through being strong through being um you know what not being angry okay through high vibration that's how you're going to manifest this beautiful person when you believe in love okay not because like you have revenge and pain and anger in your heart so let go let go of what you no longer need basically what i can understand is let go of the low vibration toxic energies if you're feeling stuck right now because anytime soon this person is going to come in or come back in your life but you know what there's a female energy here you must find your stability okay you have to be stable mentally emotionally spiritually in, in all aspects and let go of the past okay let go of the drama the pain and start all over again let's see ten of swords see it's time to move away from a difficult situation so where is your next relationship i think they're also going through their own personal struggles if they are going through their um you know what maybe this person oh my god they're buff maybe they have dark hair maybe a while ago we saw someone with light hair but now we are seeing someone with medium skin tone muscles possibly uh, they like fitness they like to be healthy they go to the gym they exercise okay so and they have a good body but what am i seeing right now is they have they also have to step into their truth because possibly this person was denying their feelings to you or possibly this person still needs to tell you how they feel but regardless ten of swords is like moving towards new cycle to be together okay to to um you know make your relationship official if you already know each other or if you were dating but if you still haven't dated yet you still haven't met then this person has to come true okay where is this person is this person in the faraway land i haven't i do not see it but maybe this person is already near near you near in your life nine of swords see you must close a cycle you need to complete the cycle so you can move forward toward new beginnings and fresh start. What are you manifesting, feminine? New love, new life, new cycle, second chance, opportunities, chance. But right now the question is, who is your next relationship? You went through so much pain, you're, but you're going to heal and you're ready to fall in love again. Okay, like I, I think right now you're going through psychic attack, dark attack, maybe you know you went through like these uh, things that they call like voodoo black magic okay i do not know maybe it's part of your past lives or it truly happened right now that the demons and some some something from the dark doesn't want you to be happy or maybe there's like some evil by juju around you toxic people toxic connections that just do not want you to be happy so be careful with that spirit guides just want you to know you have to move away from from toxic energies from low vibration because the more you're going to ascend your go the more you're going to align yourself with love and you're going to um, conquer all these demons that's trying to get you down six of pentacles yes because eventually okay spirit guide says you're going to do good things okay you believe in good karma forget forget the toxic connections that you had connect uh, i mean you know forget all the bad people all the pain that you went through because that's low vibration you choose to do the right thing you embrace the path right now you let go of the past and then we will see who this person is going to come in your life i think this this next relationship of yours they're going to evolve and this person possibly is also being called to be philanthropist and humanitarian after all we know that this person is very stable 
practical responsible and have a lot of money okay but i am i can understand that possibly there is karma from your past lives or in this lifetime that you need to clear okay so anyway that's how i understand and i truly can pick up that it is possible that you could also be in a twin flame connection so what your connection wants to say to you your uh counterpart i mean your next relationship anyway i know they still have to come in your life or they have to profess their feelings to you i should have never let you go so this is possible that this person has hurt you okay so well maybe also hurt you also in the past lives you know because you have a past life relationship i i know it i'm picking up like a twin flame connection twin flame and separation but will you find your your way towards each other i i was already channeling that okay and and this is a person trying to tell you i should have never let you go i should have never hurt you but i i i know that there's karma i mean there's bad karma to be cleared and if this person um you know maybe they were connecting with someone who was practicing like <laughs> those this you know like this manipulation and the 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 spells okay to keep them in their life but this you know you never you can never enchant or force someone to love you it has to be their own free will because you know that's how love is you don't force anyone true love no snow bounce anyway so feels like i have known you all my life because like what i said you have a past life relationship together and more so I could already I could already pick up that this is a twin flame connection okay trying to manifest twin flame union or that's how I could see I'm not even going to confuse ourselves and try to say that this is a deepest soul connection I just know okay spirit guys trying to say that you know give your ch yourself a chance to find love okay and and heal yourself so anyway i love you too as deep as the ocean i love you as deep as the ocean is so, well maybe eventually this person has to tell you honestly how they feel you know after all your first energy is night of cups okay so anyway what can i say spirit guy says whoever this person going to be your next relationship it's it's because of love okay it's not because of any other reasons but because they love you very very much they realize that or this person is going to unexpectedly magically appear in your life when you need it did when you needed this person the most so anyway all i can say unexpected meeting or maybe anytime soon this relationship is going to take off just hang in there okay pile pile one but i do understand that i am picking someone who's going to come in your life who's going to love you as deep as the ocean who's going to fall in love with you very very much if you funny and awaken this person knows their truth epiphany is this person is spiritually evolved spiritually conscious could be a spiritual person um, a person of faith seek clarity because they know their truth remember i am seeing a male energy um it's on the ten of swords but i already trying to, to tell you that they need to to stand on their truth they need to let go of manipulation and control okay around them and this person needs to be unstoppable and be with you anyways okay so anyway i know it because epiphany see clarity remember the first message here i should have never let you go i have a painful realization that you know i'm so sorry if you know i I have hurt you in the past, but look, there's something about you. You're special. Feels like I have known you all my life. And I realize that it's only you and I love you as deep as the ocean. So they know their truth. They know you're the one. And is there a possibility for marriage? I already 
<laughs> channel yes it is possible that this person this next relationship could be the one celebration yes let go and have fun because celebration can also means wedding happiness romance love is in the air and the rainbows for wishes and dreams to come true you know what yeah, you also have a very strong spiritual connection with this person. So I'm just trying to see like like um like certain energies, okay? What spirit guys wants to tell you solitude, healing, feminine, you need to recharge your energy and think positive, okay? You need deep emotional healing, but universe trying to tell you you could have been single for a very long time or you have been very very hurt, okay? by this connection or whatever but anyway spirit guys trying to tell you you're going to heal and you're going to manifest this beautiful connection in your life spirit guys says if you're going to manifest new love congratulations yes it's new love but if this is someone from your past it is also possible okay because i already you know was channeling that this could also be a connection who's who's trying to manifest their twin flame reunion shine and do not worry children because the sun is shining universe and the divine is going to protect you both of you so your destiny is going to merge so you're you are going to meet each other you're going to be together okay because of love and that love is going to protect both of you from all this bad juju okay so anyway i can only try but you know i'm trying to understand spirit guys can i have one message please transformation someone really needs to evolve remember i was already trying to say there is a feminine here you must close the old chapter you have to get out of the darkness okay because your counterpart is just right there okay i mean i know they're going through their own personal issues but but they're going through th their own pain and 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 uh struggles and so are you but in order for your destiny to meet you must heal remember this is already the message here see this could end up in marriage congratulations there you go didn't are we right yes and trust the process trust god trust your intuition and trust that you will to be together and trust that you will find each other see soul tribe you know all this red card here all these red energies it could have summed up all the message here that we already been trying to tell you okay someone should have never let you go and someone realized that they should have never hurt you whether this is a, like you know someone from something that happened in your past lives or maybe it already happened now but anyway so tribe all i can tell you pile one who is your next relationship pay attention because if you truly are manifesting for new love anytime soon but if this is already someone you know uh, then they they are going to make a strategy okay to come back in your life because they know they are they they are being awakened by the universe okay and they're having painful realization that they cannot live without you and eventually spirit guide says this is going to lead into marriage so anyway thank you and like i said this is just like a like a quicker um vibe where is your next relationship i know that we could do better but so try we can only try we still have three other piles and kitty cat can only channel and speak too much okay after all we are always here we are really always always learning so tribe so let's understand um amethyst who is your next relationship i made some ginger this weather is crazy so tribe and then a lot of going on outside you just have to watch your back in all ways so i'm kind of like just shaking my head oh my gosh so let's go spirit guys who is a pale amethyst next relationship oh he's a builder something about community maybe you're going to meet this person through family and friends or oh my god maybe you're going to be um 
you know, blind dates, matchmaking, possible online as well. But anyway, it's a community, okay? It could be an online community or community, spiritual, religious community, or community around you, around your neighborhood, around your circle. So, Ten of Pentacles, he's a builder. He is a business person. I mean, I'm just saying he, your next relationship is a hard worker a good provider very wealthy as well maybe coming from a wealthy background okay but like i said maybe this person came from rugs to riches they're they are very much focused but but spirit guide says they're they're serious okay so they are ready for children they're ready for a home for family they're ready to get married okay so they're building themselves okay for marriage so let's understand oh my god the devil energy okay maybe this person your next relationship is a very passionate person or maybe this person you know know their way around because they have everything they work hard they play hard maybe this person also has a bad boy bad girl persona but anyway who's your next relationship Spirit guys trying to, to tell you that, you know what, this person knows that they have a lot of, to offer or you, you, they have a lot of admirer and you have some competition, but regardless, who's your competition? Okay, they're nobody, they're di like, they're manifesting in there because of, you know, possibly because of money, because of low vibration reasons okay so who is this person let's understand more okay but there there is some blocks here or there is a a red flag let me understand if this is someone like a soulmate or a karmic okay because this this also could could mean that there are karmics in the background but let's understand if if you are connecting with a karmic or you have you have to um you know, if if it's time for you to move on from something, let's let's see. Queen of Swords, yes, Perry guys says you're going to purge out what you don't need. Who is this person? A person who's you know. I understand that you were connecting with a person who focused on work, okay, but possibly also has trouble saying no to temptation and so now i can understand that there is a feminine uh, that there is a feminine here who is um very much hurt so she she embraced her independence right now okay so and then what you need to do embrace the path and then what now page of cups possibilities Perry guy says you connected with someone toxic and then there was bad juju and so there was red flag because you thought this person was the one but now again you you found yourself like very much a single okay if this is a female energy she is well maybe if this is a female energy she could be an air sign <laughs> libra gemini aquarius or if you know maybe it's a female who connected with an earth sign but anyway let's understand because the spirit guys is trying to say page of cups maybe manifest new love you know i'm not going to contradict myself or this person needs to express their feelings to you but they first they need to clear these karmics they need to stop lying to you they need to tell you the truth okay feels like i kind of knew that there is an there is an earth sign here maybe you fell in love with an earth sign earth sign is taurus virgo capricorn but then now maybe where are you right now female energy divine feminine maybe you're manifesting new love or you're waiting for this person to express you to express to you their feelings but like i said page of cups a new person is going to come in your life maybe they could be younger and experienced fresh hopefully pure intention but let's understand page of cups could also mean a water sign pisces cancer scorpio but let's let's see you have a little bit of drama in your pile two of pentacles yes 
there is someone here pile two you cannot decide you're confused are you going to wait for this person that you fell in love with like something from your past or are you going to move forward to manifest new love let's understand what spirit guys is trying to say see this is my confusion i already told you and um because look it feels like you're very much confused you do not know who, who to listen to okay people who it's like an it's like an energy it's okay it's like good energy bad energy what do you need to do but spirit guy says if you are confused you must choose yourself you choose peace you choose you okay so anyway spirit guys who is the next relationship of pile oh there's a lot sorry there's like five energy i i don't want i do not want to be overwhelmed so who is the next relationship where is this next relationship of pile two spirit guys the magician okay spirit guys trying to tell you this person could be mature as well or need to be mature for you this person cannot give you tricks and illusion and this person cannot cannot tell you things and not make not make it come true okay so let me stretch my soul chart because it's hard to channel if i am here like cramping in the floor let me understand because you have a drama pile to spirit guys well you know the good energy the good positive side of the magician is this person is ready okay this person is going to come in your life they will be guided by the universe but the downside is there are secrets that you need to know pile two and you know you cannot be in a relationship with someone who is not honest and true to you so anyway who is your next relationship i do believe that this person it's a hard worker maybe they have ambition to be in the spotlight or they just really need to be stable in life they also are trying to seek answers right now they 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 want to take care of their loved ones i mean this person has is a good person too but i just believe that they went through so much but eventually nobody is perfect anyway so anyway uh, the way i can see right now for you pile two you also need to keep calling your next relationship uh, keep calling your soulmate keep calling your lead partner keep calling your twin flame because because optimism law of attraction staying positive and believing in love is going to manifest this wonderful person in your life i know that you still have a lot to learn and spirit guide says i need to stop here but you know what you have a law of free will let's say you are in a twin flame connection pile two let's say you are in a twin flame connection and then there's bad juju here trying to block your twin flame connection spirit guide says you have to be a warrior okay and you have to heal yourself and purge out what you need you have to embrace the path as well because universe is also going to open doors for you you know maybe you are in a so you are in your part of your life right now as a your soul contract that you're learning lessons and as well as if this is a twin flame connection they're also learning lessons so now spirit guy says you know the universe is not trying to tell you to, not to um, meet new people as friends or connect with community because page of cups can also be community like support or soul tribe okay or guardian angels and spirit guys or this could also mean like get to know new friends okay do things that you love so you're not going to be in the dark confused so so take one day at a time because let's understand let's understand more okay but regardless you're going to manifest your life partner you're going to manifest your next relationship in your life and actually right now you're manifesting big time and you're calling who you're calling this next this next relationship to be in your life and you are praying to god that this person is not toxic okay so anyway um do not be confused maybe you're someone who's been 
fearful to fall in love or you are someone who's very much frustrated right now because you fell in love with this beautiful person and then now like you were losing hope on that and then so now you were thinking like should you manifest another connection and then now spirit guys trying to tell you that you're much more confused so take it easy okay you have to believe you have to align yourself to the divine so you're going to get more answers okay so anyway secrets is going to come to light okay sorry i could only tell you so much but who is your life a life partner who is your next relationship anyway i am coming home to you well i was saying already that you are trying to manifest and call your next relationship your soulmate your twin flame your true love but there's a message i am coming home to you my love I am coming home to you, my love. Maybe as well. Anyway, I'm not going to confuse ourselves here. But Spirit Guide says you have a law of free will. Okay, you have the right to choose who's good for you. Okay, this person, okay, from your past, is, can also come back in your life. Because look, I'm coming home to you. But they have come back, they have to come back in your life no baggage no drama because if they're going to come in your life and there's a lot of baggage and drama and and lies and deception maybe spirit guy says that's when you know okay how to manifest a soulmate connection well that's all i can tell you right now <laughs> oh my gosh what is this spirit guys if this you connected with a toxic twin flame time to manifest a soulmate connection but just keep your hearts open because you'll never know you know we are learning one step at a time but it could also be possible that maybe you already connected with a karmic okay and then now universe trying to tell you it's time to manifest your true connection okay the true connection is going to offer you love stability someone to come home to you oh my god blessing this guy sorry i channeled this energy is very strong blessing in this guy princess and the pea well spirit guy says maybe you are manifesting relationship with this person but it did not happen in the past because they were toxic see i already told you okay it was a blessing in disguise there was red flag from the past but there is opportunity for this person to come back or to come home to you okay but they have to to offer you stability see rewrite the stars true love romeo and juliet because it feels like this this connection it's been like on and off, on and off. Like you were feeling confused and hopeless. So now I understand your confusion here. Should you like leave the past and then manifest new love? So take it easy. Okay, Spirit Guy says at the end of the day, you always choose you. You always love yourself, but you keep your heart open. Okay, so your next relationship is just right here in the corner. But first, you must, you must heal yourself so you can manifest this wonderful person in your life and then you're not going to manifest fear drama baggage okay because the dark forces are going going to smell that and then they're going to put more blockages so you don't want any more drama okay universe trying to tell you yes you can rewrite the stars when we say that yes true love is possible it's not always going to be romeo and juliet like star-crossed lovers okay like confused like why is all the odds against you the universe is going to give you uh, the the gift of being together okay the gift of strength so you'll understand this journey and then this person is also going to to see above the illusions and going to fight for you okay so that's how i could understand right now but you know there's quite a journey so pile two regardless there is imbalance here okay but you must heal that's what i keep i keep hearing from our guides i mean from my guides anyway you must heal yourself first and then the love that you seek the love that you dream of is going to come to you 
what you seek is also seeking you you know that's how Rumi was trying to say but also you must also know that sometimes you don't look for love too much okay you don't you don't uh, desperately look for love let love find you okay because if you're desperately seeking for something and then there's a lot of things that's going to happen maybe you're going to like just you know believe what you want to believe but let the universe guide you after all this is what the message here got to believe in magic okay if you're feeling hopeless but right now heal yourself okay that's how i could i could understand for you new beginning see you must rise like the phoenix because this energy here is the phoenix rising above the ashes of despair so you're going to manifest new life a new you make over make over yourself or you know you're just trying to reinvent yourself okay maybe this this girl has turned into a woman or this page has turned into an emperor but regardless spirit guide says there's new energies there's hope for you but you have to rise above the ashes that's why i keep trying to tell you you must heal yourself first you have to learn from the life lessons but you know you're not going to manifest a person who's going to just keep lying to you and not trustworthy so begin your new life and regardless, you also have the law of free will to manifest new love in your life. Maybe your next relationship is, is a new love as well, okay? If that's truly what you want, and then universe giving you the green light, okay? Competition. What did I say? I tell you, I this is the magic word that I already told you competition do not let the evil forces what did i say did when i when i first saw this i already told you the magic word you have competition this person has a lot of admirers or this person needs to grow up and see you above all this false fake gold f false like you know like oh my god what do they call it the fake gold false gold it's like the pyrites they need to see the diamond in you amidst the pile of stone pile two competition summon courage and self-confidence but this could also mean do not compare yourself to others because if you're going to be like comparing yourself and then you know what you're just going to be insecure and having anxiety. Focus on yourself. There will be there will be resolution to your problems, okay? Or there will be solution to your problems. You have to be objective. That also means that also means do not get deviated on the path. Do not simply be you must you must always move forward okay that's how i understand i mean this is my kitty cat layman terms we're not even going to uh, squeeze our mind but see this is th this energy here maybe it's time to manifest new love or maybe it's time to manifest new chances new second chances in in your connection because you're going to heal and you're going to gather more strength and you don't care about this bad juju you're going to slay these demons these karmics these fears these these blocks these walls that's trying to keep you apart from each other so this is how i understand so tribe i was already seeing this this magic word in here and no we're not making it up but there is a degree of truth on this enchantment because this is also believing in the magic of the universe miracles can happen too your dreams can also come true pile too you are manifesting for your for your uh, next relationship big time but how are you going to meet this could mean this could mean fated meeting is there distance Maybe you could be opposite from each other, okay? Maybe there's also distance. Maybe you are two different people walking two different lives. When I tell you that, maybe you're different in status, religion. Maybe you live in miles from each other or a different city. So anyway, maybe this person could also be a foreigner, okay? 
so um who needs to make time for you i know this person your next relationship has good taste but look i mean i can understand spirit guy says you are waiting for this person to to recognize you to tell to tell you that they want to be with you okay to express their feelings to you because after all page of cups can also be that an expression of love to profess their feelings for you but they cannot come in your life with toxic energy okay but regardless you you know i'm not going to contradict myself and my channeling but i'm just going to tell you keep your options open okay you know who you want to be with okay if this person is toxic you're not obligated to be with this person who doesn't who doesn't uh, help you okay to believe in love who makes you cry who gives you so much pain you know what to do okay uh, pile two but if you truly think this is your twin flame connection and you want to you want to hold on this connection but you must take care of you self-love healing yourself okay so what now spirit intuition see spirit guy says but if your intuition truly tell you that you are connecting with this special person but you were just feeling hopeless and confused but you're seeing signs synchronicities symbols 11 11 3 to 3 oh my god if you want to stay in the journey so it is then we manifest magic to help you okay <laughs> got to believe in magic pile too i know it's not easy love there you go and may this magic or may the magic of god <laughs> rewrite your rewrite your love story and bring love in your life so this person can stay okay so this could also mean serious relationship well i'm not sure if there's a wedding by saying love so this could also mean trust and surrender oh my god trust your intuition because later on this you know if you're doing shadow work it's going to pay off and it's going to bring love in your life okay it's going to manifest this this love that you are seeking in your life because this is, could also mean four of ones so you know what we are picking bits and pieces of messages in your pile i just really want to know who's your next relationship but this very guys wanted to let you know that you've been manifesting this person for quite some time i know there was red flags but you can guess you can go through it okay you can you can go past these walls and these blocks see the sun do not worry child you will be happy too because possibly you were very sad feeling hopeless and afraid and powerless the sun is also marriage the sun is also a yes will this next relationship come in your life going to stay and offer you happily ever after it's a powerful yes okay success happiness making your dreams come true and healing what did i tell you see heal yourself did i even stutter no shadow work take care of you self-care self-love before you're going to manifest this wonderful connection in your life maybe you know what you have to be much more better than all this bad juju and dark forces trying to make you afraid okay so uh, that's how i could see yeah forgive yourself or forgive someone or say try someone is trying to tell you i am sorry okay see and rise above these challenges tell you what this is you know we could have just went to see this red card and this red energies could just sum everything that i've already channeled and good times ahead because you're going to expect wonderful times better days ahead in your love life how are you going to meet this person if you don't know this, do not know this person anytime soon because this could be the wheel of fortune you know like um unexpected meeting okay or wheel of fortune that's why i was saying too you could this person could be from a faraway land or they could be a foreigner or maybe they could be a, per a person who's opposite than you okay opposite in race status religion maybe they could be very wealthy they could be popular 
you'll never know my soul tribe we already seeing it but spirit guide says are you capable of clearing all these blocks and be together if this is a twin flame connection this is a possibility that you can go past all these walls and have your union or simply be if you do not know if you're in a twin flame journey you just want to know about your next relationship heal yourself and then this next relationship is going to manifest in your life that's all i can say right now okay so where is this person <laughs> they are currently on their way to you well you have to manifest that you have to keep calling this person because you know what you don't want this person to get stuck somewhere oh my god do you have competition okay this your future next relationship has a lot of admirers that's how i could understand so i'm going to drink my ginger tea and give me a moment my soul chart because i have to um let's see okay so we're seeing bits and pieces let's go pile three whoever picked pile three i did i was cool to pick that uh for <laughs> oh my god let's understand who is our next relationship spirit guys is there love and marriage or reunion waiting for pile jasper <laughs> what can we see spirit guys i am curious to know too Channel message, please. Who is our next relationship for pile three? Nine of Wands, determination. There's some, there's some male energy here is going through struggles, maybe going through money problem, or going through their pers personal issues as well. Okay, maybe this is a person who is a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But anyway. You know, if they are not fire sign, let's understand. But I know that this person is going through money, financial, or health problems. So let's understand more, okay? If, you know, your question why this person is not in your life yet. Or maybe you're already connected with this person. But these are the reasons right now why they're not with you yet, okay? Either health reasons, finance, finances reasons ace of cups oh my god spirit guide says but this person loves you very much whoever is this person going to come in your life oh my gosh my soul tribe you know the ace of cups could also mean this could be a new love or this could be an existing you know this could be someone you already knew and then you're going to be in a serious relationship it's kind of like if you already no, this person is going to be more than friends or if this person has yet to come in your life it is also possible a new love okay who's go wow who loves you very 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 much because that's how i understand so tribe we're not being biased here all i can just say new love but then spirit guys trying to tell you that you know what it is possible as well is that there will be commitment after all ace of cups could also mean serious relationship okay because ace of cups also means i love you okay or ace of cups could also mean there is a feminine here she knows her worth she loves herself and she knows that she is capable of slaying all these ghouls okay trying to tell her she's not she's she's she doesn't deserve love no she's better than that okay she is evolved there is a fem feminine here, very much evolved, okay? She knows she's worthy of love, so she's going to manifest it, and let's understand more. But regardless, pile three, where is your next relationship? Hang in there, okay? Maybe this person still has to tell you how they feel. Maybe they've all already felt that all along, but they love you very much. They just need to make it official, okay? I tell you, fire sign. Oh my God, King of Wands. Or maybe this is a person who's very creative, a public figure in the spotlight who is theatrical. Oh my God, like gallant, like to impress you, has 
it's a good taste okay in all things that they has they have expensive taste can they afford it well they are a hard worker so i think they can make money they're glittering they like to give you jewelries roses they like you to they like to take you around to nice places so anyway all i can tell you right now if this is truly a fire sign leo aries sagittarius anyway or maybe it's just an energy uh, that Whoever your next relationship is, is a person who's a leader, who is capable of fighting for you, who's very creative soul, like music, like, you know, also very, very talented. So when we say creative, creative soul, they know music, they know film, they know how to write, they're in the spotlight. Oh my God, should I say public figure? Oh my God, here we are again. So anyway, maybe this Ace of Cups could also mean you have a very strong spiritual connection with this person. Maybe you've been manifesting this person or maybe you were connecting with a public figure and then you are wondering, is there a chance for you to be with this person? Or maybe you were confused. Okay, what's your connection with this person? So anyway, Spirit Guide says, is there a chance for you to meet this person? This, is there a chance for you to have a relationship with this beautiful person that, that you are looking at right now? Is this a public figure? You'll never know. But I do understand there's a very strong spiritual connection, like spiritual union oh my god but you still have to find each other in the physical so let's understand if there's if that's the case okay but if you already know this person then this person is really going to fight for you and going to take action and try to tell you i'm not going anywhere i'm not going to let you go page of wands <laughs> this person oh my god maybe you're also going to connect with someone who is handsome who looks young not necessarily that they are younger, but page of ones, here we go again. This could also mean, are you going to meet? Page of ones could mean a yes. Okay, this person can look like a model, a, f a fashion star. Um, you know, they could look like a beautiful, handsome actor you know i mean they kind of look like that they're very handsome they're very stylish okay so page of wands yes you're going to meet okay destiny will will give you both a chance to uh meet each other okay <laughs> there is you know no is not an option so it has to be a yes so i can understand there is chance meeting destined meeting fated meeting okay so if that's your question you know if that if your situation is if you're connecting with someone like a person of interest so um but if this person is already in your life i tell you this person loves you very much and doesn't want to let you go and this person wants you to give wants to have a brand new beginning with you okay every day so um let me understand more who's your next relationship the high priestess did i say that there's a feminine here who's very much evolved and the universe trying to tell you you must trust your intuition maybe there is a female energy here she's a loner an introvert very gifted you know when i say it's very gifted she's spiritually gifted she's very intuitive she's highly spiritual and she was trying to learn to uh, love herself know her self-worth okay so what else can i understand who is your next relationship pile tree you're connecting with someone who's not just anybody okay you're connecting with someone who is opposite than you in status you know they could be extrovert and then you're introvert but you complement each other see i was already seeing that okay so is there possibility for you to you know like date each other and be together i know that there 
there's a possible meeting here but to date each other king of cups commitment yes and i am also seeing a water sign now pisces cancer scorpio so pile three it is possible uh, that your next relationship could be a water sign or a fire sign or simply be an energy that this person loves you very much okay someone who's sensitive to your needs someone who is quiet and kind as well but also take action person who doesn't want to let you go and going to provide for you and but most of all really trying to tell you i love you very much and i am willing to give you marriage and commitment and i'm not going anywhere i'm just here you're confused but so am i but regardless i'm not going to be connecting with lame connections because i know i'm going to wait here i'm i'm going to be here i will be here regardless i you know maybe i haven't told you how i felt yet but i want you to know uh, that i'm also waiting for destiny to bring us together oh my god because it's intuition maybe this person is highly intuitive as well you know this could also be a message that i love you as deep as the ocean and i'm not going anywhere not going to let you go oh my god pile three who is this person spirit guys pile pile three you know in your heart already who this person is. You're very intuitive anyway. Maybe the the universe already channeled this person to you. Okay, you were already seeing signs, synchronicities. Okay, so anyway, is this a twin flame connection? Or is this a, a soulmate connection? Does it really matter? We just want to know. Okay, like, but you know... A of cups can also be unconditional love. But anyway, Spirit Guide says, you will know, okay? But as long as this person is ready to offer you commitment and love and ready to be with you, what's impossible? Nothing, okay? So this is how I can see right now your next relationship. This is a very handsome person or a beautiful woman. Okay, so right now, Spirit Guys trying to say something like a karmic or a bad juju or like a evil stepmother or, you know, like someone who like practice black magic is trying to get in your way. Okay, I, I, wow, I thought there wasn't no karmic, but right now the forbidden is kind of like, Kind of like karmic and temptations or like evil forces trying to to uh trying to separate you from each other so let's understand more okay love knows no bounds there you go it is possible okay that you could be opposite from each other the yin and yang could also mean a twin flame connection how do i even say that look the ace of cups that also means unconditional love and and knowing love and understanding love with no bounds no conditions no oh my god not even space and time can even separate you from each other this is like a romance of a lifetime that you're trying to manifest so wow pile three maybe you're manifesting like a long lasting love eternal love eternal union divine union what can i say spirit guys knows if our collective is in a twin flame connection but you're going to separation right now you're having trouble like grounding your connection but i do believe there's already a male energy here ready to be with you okay ready to fight for you i mean this is not even like a, a problem right here whatever the dark forces whatever the test and the challenges your love for each other is much more stronger than all this separation okay I want to marry you under the cherry blossoms. Oh my God, I do not know what to say. Spirit Guide says, maybe you're going to marry in springtime or this person knows that you like flowers very, very much or something about cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms, you know, the Empress energy, she wears cherry blossoms. So that means who are you going to marry? 
well, they're going to be in their emperor energy. After all, you already have like two kings energy here, like a king of cups who loves you very much and like a king of um, ones who's a take action person, who's very passionate about you, who's not going to let you go. So how can I even tell you this? You are connecting. Your next relationship is willing to fight for you amidst all these challenges. They kind of know that there's confusion, there's challenges, there's fear here, but they're willing to, you know what? If this person is, let's say they're wealthy, they're a public figure, they don't even see you as like, you know, like you have nothing or you are average or middle class or something like that. Nothing like that, okay? I mean, money cannot buy love and happiness, okay? Maybe this society, this 3D norms just, just made it that way but even the riches they need love to my soul child that's how i can understand at the end of it all we're all human okay and we are we are searching for a deeper connection and you know deeper relationship not only because like yeah because of money because this and this and that so anyway what now dreams believe in your dreams believe that's how it is because do not stop believing in your dreams. Keep your dreams in your heart. Oh my God, that's exactly okay. Because you're going to marry the man of your dreams, the woman of your prayers. Oh my God, and they're beautiful. So Empress, make sure you have your beauty sleep. Make sure you dream a beautiful dream. And do not let this bad juju nightmares like... Oh my gosh, like you know, just like the evil stepmother gave Snow White the apple and then uh, Snow White fell asleep and then how did Snow White get up from that slumber and evil spell true love's kiss okay so true love happily money there you go ace of pentacles energy who are you connecting to maybe you're connecting to with someone who is wealthy who has money but regardless, grounding in the physical union, okay? Because Ace of Pentacles is blessings, shower of abundance, and a very grounding energy. That means grounding, that means physical grounding, okay? Physical union. Find a way to abundance, find a way to prosperity, because if you believe in your dreams, then it's possible that you're going to manifest not only money, but a very prosperous relationship which could also lead to something more okay something that you dream of and more so anyway that's all i can understand right now anyway but you have to go through some tests and challenges okay feminine Pile three, do not stop believing in your dreams. That's what the most important message for you. And have faith. See? Believe, trust, and have faith. And stay strong in your faith because faith is going to open doors for you. What kind of doors will the universe going to open for you? The doors of true love. The doors of a long-lasting love. The doors to your life partner. Or the door to this next relationship which could lead to true love and marriage okay and success see so you can be happy happy and be successful in life not only in money abundance but also in love so that's that's how i could understand right now let's get one more please or maybe you're connecting with someone who is a person of faith or someone is spiritual who is also very successful who's also going to support you and heal you and let's understand thank you spirit guys i am just wisdom and very intuitive and so are you okay this is like you know a blessed connection a blessed union see cleanse yourself because there's a feminine here she's very spiritual she's highly evolved but regardless cleansing keep cleansing what you don't need anymore because this is how i could understand okay um i was just looking what we're going to see but this one we already saw it's like the high priestess energy okay align yourself to the universe so anyway we're just trying to pick up but the question is who is your next relationship the universe is going to open doors 
for true love to come in your life so do not stop believing in love do not stop believing in yourself okay and if you are connecting with someone who is opposite from you nothing is impossible see spirit guys says shadow work or you're going to meet this person through work or a business setting or possibility you're going to there's travel energy this if there's distance then this person's going to travel towards you let's understand money again physical union if there's distance between you then you're going to ground this connection or if there is a very strong spiritual connection then you will do your shadow work and then if this is the spiritual connection then you're going to ground your your physical union see i that's how i understand and a person who possibly a hard worker and have a lot of money have a lot to offer going to bless your life like a gift okay proposal oh my gosh see who is your next relationship it's very much possible that this person is going to come in your life could bring so much more into your life abundance prosperity healing most of all marriage proposal and going to give you a chance to walk down the aisle as a beautiful bride or you now you're going to be a beautiful groom waiting for your beautiful bride walking down the aisle so ethereal so beautiful like an angel okay so so chai you know what to tell you honestly this is how i can see for you right now thank you very much but you know what folks like one two and three has um kind of like the common denominator like the same message you know sometimes so try you know they're not technically like the same oracles the same whatever but it feels like the way i could understand let the universe bring this beautiful connection in your life but you cannot manifest like toxic energy you're not going to manifest love when you're in a very dark place so i you know but regardless i know that in pile three a feminine is very gifted there and she could be spiritual and then now she's kind of like she's she was worried because if she's kind of like spiritual then maybe that's going to be so much high standard for her because she's going to find out who has the who who what kind of person is trying to get to her you know if they have good intentions or not but regardless it's also a gift it's better to know know someone who's coming at you okay but like i said so try it's a beautiful person okay so let's go congratulations pile three last but not the least let's go pile pile green and i was looking up i saw one twelve twelve if that make any relevance in your life right now one twelve 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 is also good okay i used to see a lot of twelve twelve before i have to check what it means but i know eleven eleven guardian angels is going to protect you twelve twelve could also mean uh, um, also a confirmation that you need to continue in your journey and you are ascending now on a higher path in a higher mission and keep your vibration high and 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 if you get confused and if you like you know if there's any challenges that comes in your way do not fall off the path okay you are in the right path i think that's how i understand with the 12 12 so let's go pile um pile green Who's your next relationship? The lovers. Who's your next relationship? Spirit guys wanted to let you know that. You know what? You could be in a third party or in a karmic connection. Or who's your next relationship? They need to choose you and let go of third party or let go of karmics or temptation. Or this is also possible for you, Pile Green. Maybe you connected with a karmic. You connected as well with a toxic twin flame let's understand but regardless it's a three-way and you don't want to be three-way you want to be the only one and only love yes the spirit guide says you're seeing signs synchronicities symbols there is, is there hope for you in love who are who is your next relationship there could be distance 
maybe this person there's also separation because this person could also mean they made bad choices in their life there's there's bad juju there's bad karmics right now okay maybe there this person you're connecting to was feeling stuck or you were feeling stuck with this connection because they were somewhere else okay my made bad decisions or anyway spirit guys trying to say if this person was feeling stuck then they have to help themselves or you have to pray for the light to to shine the light so this person's going to find their way to you so who are you connecting to pile four you might be connecting with a star seed or you're connecting with a star that also means they could be famous they could be popular they could be in the spotlight okay let's understand more maybe they could also someone here is an air sign libra gemini aquarius okay so but there's also a feminine here she was losing hope but universe trying to tell you do not lose hope in love let's find out more this could also be a star seed connection okay so who is your relationship next relationship six of swords someone from a faraway land universe also trying to tell you to trust and choose peace and let go of the struggle if something right now you know if your love life wasn't taking off because your counterpart is stuck somewhere okay maybe competition maybe rivalry maybe third party the universe wants you to stay on the path that's why i already told you okay when we saw like the 12 12 is the same as what the energy is already trying to portray on your pile you went through so much struggles right now but just know that the universe is protecting you there is hope for you when it comes to love okay not all hope is lost yet pain separation is just an illusion destiny and the universe will will bring this special person in your life but first you must evolve you must choose you you must choose yourself okay and we'll understand because six of swords could also mean forgiveness compassion unconditional love that could also mean you know someone is going to communicate with you and going to come in your life to to tell you they're very sorry so let's understand very guys that's a lot there was four in there and i do not want to get overwhelmed because do you know this person already because i know there was distance there is separation but i also know that there is someone who wants to communicate with you because there's also someone who is stuck on a third party connection i know the kind of drama okay so anyway let's understand more um maybe they are they are thinking about you whoever this person is they're thinking about you seven of pentacles seven of pentacles is also like there's challenges ahead but if you're willing to work on it it's going to pay off so shadow work do not stop believing in love if your inner child is crying let go of fear heal your inner child and bring back colors into your life and and be optimistic because you know it's going to create positive results and it's going to light your way or is you're going to light the way of this person that you are connecting to your next relationship let's understand knight of cups see spirit guide says you're going to light the way so this person's going to find their way to you going to express their love to you going to tell you how much they love you okay knight of cups could also mean falling in love commitment and offer of wedding proposal or this could also be a new love okay maybe spirit guys trying to tell you maybe you connected with someone toxic and then you have the law of free will to manifest new connection in your life to move away past this toxic connection and then just manifest new love or you'll never know too maybe this person who was toxic is going to be called to awaken and then they're going to tell communicate with you and tell you how much they they made the wrong decision okay and they're willing to work on your relationship work on your partnership and then going to tell you that i felt the same way i've always do i have never really let you go in my heart and i've always loved you i've i've never 
forget that okay you were always special to me so so child you know what one two three and four you might have to watch because it feels like who is your next relationship i'm already picking up like twin flame vibe sorry so tribe i could only try as much as i want to say yeah this is new love but i can only say that spirit guys is trying to say there is a possibility of getting together getting back together and a new person but regardless you know i'm not going to confuse you or me you have a law of free will who you want if you truly do not want with this person who needed to evolve and let go of excess or third party then you have the capability to move forward okay and manifest new love in your life and do not give it give up on love you keep your heart open okay because we can never really clo close the bridge just like that okay there could be unfinished business here in your pile pile four i could only tell you how much i can understand after all this is a general reading so let's understand queen of pentacles and you're going to be peaceful and calm and cool and collected and you know that in the end all will be well you're going to meet someone you're going to be with someone who's going to support you and make your dreams come true but for the meantime you're going to focus on yourself you're going to work on yourself you're going to heal your inner child okay and you're going to learn to be strong so you're going to gather more courage okay to manifest whoever you want in your life if you are someone who's manifesting twin flame union then so it is but if you are truly done with toxic connections toxic karmics or toxic connection if you truly just want to have a next relationship then keep believing that you are capable of manifesting a new love in your life okay so i hope i i um explain the energies to you as much as i can because like i said you might have to watch one two three and four it's all common denominator you know so try i can only try but spirit guys trying to say oh, wow what am i going to say i will be better for you see what i'm trying to tell you a person ever from the get-go just like pile one i should have never let you go now someone's trying to say i will be better for you i should have never made by choices but i can only grow see so time that's what i'm trying to say it's hard for me to say it's the new love because if a person is truly trying to tell you i will be better for you but you know who you want you know what your heart wants I mean, you, you, your heart knows what it wants okay you know who you are willing to love but first stop how do you know if this person is meant for you because they're going to make the effort they're going to tell you how they feel they want to be serious relationship with you because if this person is not going to approach you and tell you let's get on a date let's be together then maybe that's a sign that they're not working on your partnership because you're not going to be with someone who's not working to be working on your relationship and and you're not going to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you first stop they have to express their feelings to you so hope that makes sense now right so anyway see i tell you i should never let you go did i make it up no i just was just telling you from the get-go from pile one and it's just a clarification right now i wasn't even done preaching okay i will be a better person for you i should have never let you go i'm so sorry for all my shortcomings and my mistake but can we uh compromise can you forgive me because that's how the six of sources someone wants to communicate with you so like i said watch one two three and four is twin flame union possible it could be possible okay but if you truly are so sick of toxic connections then open yourself to a deeper soulmate connection that's all okay sometimes the universe can can tell us an, an answer like that sometimes we don't really have that proper yes yes and no but right now dig deeper in your heart who you want to be with okay like right now i'm just trying to give you guidance i'm not going to waste my one hour and 30 minutes here and I'll waste my voice sitting on the floor just so i'm i'm going to like make make you more confused and myself as well so you have my deepest love see what i'm trying to tell you 
a person who's willing to give you commitment and their true love okay and no more bs no more no more baggage no more temptation just you okay because they understand that the deepest love is in deep in the ocean they have to dig deeper okay so anyway and i'm always yours forever see because this person knows they cannot live every second every single second every minute away from you because you know if you are twin soul twin flames you are each other's other half so anyway what can i say so try feels like maybe the message here from one two and three and four no matter how much you went through the struggles the pain maybe this is an opportunity for your true twin flame to come in your life or for your next relationship to manifest and appear in your life so anyway so child we continue to learn every day but it feels like if you are someone who's already highly evolved then continue in the path because universe is going to um to open doors for you and they're also going to open doors for your true twin flame to manifest and come in your life even if you are two different people okay living two different lives like that's how destiny put two people together okay the right place at the right time at the right situation you're going to find each other so anyway that's that's you know that's how i understand right now i mean sometimes i know we have four piles but but i am feeling that one two three and four are all the same wow oh my gosh is there any commitment it is possible for that see i tell you heal your inner child know that your children are protected and know that the universe is protecting you you might not understand everything right now but you have to stay strong you must have the courage deep inside you to fight for what you want okay so what now the bear moving forward get ready for positive change and keep and remember to keep moving forward all the time this is the journey to find your true love your happily ever after or simply be this is the journey to life and to love you must continue to move forward because eventually universe is going to bring this beautiful person in your life the bear could also mean stability the bear could also mean emperor energy the bear could also mean like you know like someone who's going to give you commitment and love i know that because bear is like <laughs> wow look you're uh, you're like riding the bear and then he's very supportive and loving and gentle and kind but you don't necessarily like go stand in front of the bear my soul child you know there's grizzly bears around or what kind of black bears you know i'm just trying to make an expression here that maybe the bear is your spirit animal or maybe a tiger as well for strength you know that stability or offer of love and stability is in the horizon for you because you've been waiting to manifest this connection so this is how i understand but you can you can also watch one two three and four because for some reason in this pick a card it's possibly like mostly like the same the same um like the same message i am you know what if you're not feel called to watch one two three and four then you can just pick a pile okay but right now i'm just really trying to um understand but it's right here okay keep moving forward forgive forgiveness compromise someone trying to tell you let's move forward okay bring positive change in your life or so the universe trying to tell you peaceful times ahead if you are in a conflict or in separation with this next relationship then a person might come back in your life i keep trying to tell you that but it feels like that's the same message from pile one two three and four but there's a feminine here you must stay strong and and uh do the right thing okay strength 
is wow it's so amazing we have four piles and it's all kind of like all the same even if it's not necessarily identical in the tarot and oracles that we are pulling right now but that's how i can see opulence who is coming in your life going to offer you stability wealth real soul tribe even pile three is saying money okay wealthy even pile one the beginning of pile one who is our collective going to marry someone who's a, pro a good provider a builder an entrepreneur uh someone in the creative arts okay someone in the spotlight you know someone who's opulent someone who's luxurious so child this has been my channeled message from the very get-go this could also be a chariot energy if there's also distance well this person doesn't want to be anywhere far from you the miles they want to close that gap okay they want to be with you so what can i say so tribe and this person is also passionate about you opulence and willing to provide for you and give you what you want what you need and more luck because good luck is already in going to smile in your connections like the good fortune is like the wheel of fortune if you were feeling stuck well this is good luck good fortune the obstacles is going to lift up okay because you're going to finally be together so if you still do not know this person let's understand like i channeled one two three and four you might meet this person unexpectedly or you're going to meet this person because this person is going to travel the world to be with you because they're going to be guided by the moon the sun and the stars and they're going to trust their intuition that you're out there and this person so i'm also seeing blue and green they're going to bring good luck and lots of love and honey and money in your life but mostly you want them to stay okay hopefully marriage oh my god see feminine you must heal your inner child that's been the constant message for you from the get-go okay wow yeah and do not do, do not lose hope you must cleanse your energy i'm going to get another one and possibly feminine you're very spiritual and highly evolved as well see it's kind of like pile three and you're abundant it's like the queen of pentacles as well or the empress energy you are going to blossom into the most beautiful flower and the divine and the universe going to bless you all the blessings that you need right now the, the question is who is your next relationship you're going to meet someone who's going to make your dreams and wishes come true it's like the queen of pentacles it's like the empress energy they're high vibrational they have pure intentions to be with you and they're going to make you happy i love it because it's this orange okay orange means happiness is the sun energy going to bring light happiness and joy in your life that's how i understand wow i love this oh my gosh wow spirit guys trying to say your next relationship could bring you so much happiness okay and healing as well and also going to bring you opulence going to take you around and are they wealthy it's possible okay so anyway so try maybe sometimes we're not just going to be saying yeah is there marriage is there marriage you just have to take one step at a time but the way i understand your next relationship is going to help heal you going to make you understand your self-worth going to bring happiness in your life and and going to open doors for you so you're going to manifest new beginnings okay maybe this person your next relationship as well is going to help you to support and help you okay so you can understand love more and and prepare yourself for true love and happily ever after if this person is your true love and happily ever after or is someone out there well anyway but this person you know i understand that they're going to help heal you and support you okay it's like it feels like pile four you know this is the only difference here from all the piles it feels like you know this person is very supportive like a deep soulmate connection like trying if this is soulmate connection that they're trying to tell you you are worthy of love 
<laughs> oh my god maybe this person can also give you forever but if not somewhere along the way then this person is going to help you okay to that to to lead you to that door so you're going to be with your true love so anyway so tribe that's how i i can see it right now but regardless you know we have to be honest here i have to be honest with you as well empress that's what i say you're in the empress energy you're going to call your emperor if this is already not your emperor oh my god what can i say spirit guy says you're going to manifest love in your life okay but who is your next relationship someone who is in the high vibration emperor energy you know because you're also going to step into your empress energy likewise okay you're not going to settle for less you're not going to lower your standards this person your next relationship should be high vibrational and going to offer you stability and love and they must clear the baggage the karma no bad juju no third party okay this person needs to really put the effort to be with you maybe this person is also a philanthropist a humanitarian or maybe you are go both going to be called to serve the community but regardless this karma starts within your relationship first you must clear the karma so you can be together so what now forgiveness see i tell you what can i say forgive each other forgive the past lives forgive the shortcomings if your first energy here is the karmics the bad juju see clear the karma forgive each other if there is hope for you to be together why not but anyway it's your law of free will but you will evolve you will find strength you will find yourself and when you find yourself you're going to find love that's how i understand for you i'm going to get one more please spirit guys and that's it another one children maybe you want to have children maybe you are childhood sweethearts in the past or you're going to have children together or your life purpose involves children regardless but children could also be new cycle manifesting your dreams to become a reality this could children could also mean new beginning when's the last time we have children children maybe you both have children or you going to have more children a birth of a child a birth of an enterprise or a so try a marriage contract you'll never know so try so anyway who is your next relationship where is this person maybe they're from another city or maybe another village that's how i could i could see and who is this person very opulent so that means they could be stylish jet setter um it's expensive taste do they have money i think so opulence and chariot energy that means they're luxurious and they have money they're capable and i mean the bear too is very stable person okay so this person could be an engineer if it's a male energy or something anyway you know let's just say like the builder business traveler maybe they could also be in the aviation or the traveling business or what else yeah i know this you know this is a beautiful man or a beautiful woman empress emperor energy thank you my soul tribe i love you all and if you want your personal reading you can request okay who's your future spouse who's your next relationship who's your life partner give kitty cat some work to do soul tribe because oh my god we needed it okay so we can continue to be creative and so kitty cat can continue to post more readings not only for you for me but also for other for our, our other collective for you know our soul tribe in other parts of the world and the continent so thank you soul tribe i love you all have a good day bye